hello welcome back to my channel my name is Misty this is Vivi and today we are going to do a math lesson and I figured it would be fun to have you guys come along with us for a math lesson now the math that we do is called Matthew C and we are on the primer edition um, so this is the instructional manual and right now she has covered <laughs> the student uh, manual or the student workbook. And in the student workbook, uh, we don't write in it, we just make copies. So you'll see that she just has some copy pieces of paper and that's how we're going to do it. And along with this math program, you have blocks to use. And that's why we enjoy it because Viviana is a very hands-on child. So using the blocks for her schooling is definitely helpful. <laughs> As you can see, she's having a good time here. And before we get into the actual math curriculum, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more homeschooling content just like this and the like button lets me know that this is a video that you enjoy so I know that in the future we would like to see more videos of us uh, having you go along with us through a whole lesson of whatever subject it is. Also side note for anybody who does not know we do not tend to go over 20 minutes worth of math or reading any subject in general unless my daughter genuinely wants to continue but honestly with math and language arts that's about where her brain kind of gets to a fatigued point. It's more like um, sensory or art that her brain would want to go longer. So that's how we do it, just so you know. Okay, so today is something she's never done before and it's basically a very simple version of solving for X. We're going to say X for the sake of this video explanation, but you can see it just has like little blanks here. But basically it's X plus two equals four, X plus three equals six, things like that. So she's going to work on understanding how to solve for X in a very, very, very simple way for a five-year-old. But all right, the first thing we always do is she likes to watch the DVD. So we're going to watch the DVD before we start. So let's go ahead and do that. While I've been trying my best to figure out what was going on with the DVD player, she's been going to town over here with these blocks. All right, we gotta get started, okay? Okay, so hopefully you can hear me over the music. That's what it's called, solving for an unknown. <laughs> Same thing as what I was saying, but that's the proper way to say it. So we just have one of our really old TVs down here. This thing is older than my marriage, not kidding. Um, and this is what we use for school. So we're getting ready to watch it. a timer oh, I didn't start it I do set a timer on my watch are you ready looking at this paper here you know the answer right and you know one of the numbers mm -hmm. so it's question mark or you can say X because when we get bigger we call it X okay so even though it's empty you can say X X plus 2 equals 4 right mm -hmm. can you say that now read that math problem to me please X plus 2 equals 4 Good job. All right, so now we need to get a four block. So get a four block. Well then if I'm gonna pull them out, you gotta tell me what to get. A two and a four? A two and a four, okay. There's a four. What color is two? Orange. Orange, okay. Okay, so we have a four block, right? Make sure we can see it on camera. Yeah, a four and a two, but we want them to be able to see it. Maybe I should move this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. Four and six. How much we got in, uh, I don't know how much to say. It's okay. We have a four block and we have a two block. Okay, so now you have to figure out X. X is what's missing. So what is missing from that? No, this is the answer, remember? We're not combining them. You need to find out how to make this row equal to the four. I don't know. Well, let's look at it. If you have two blocks, how many are missing to make it equal to the four? Good. So what does that mean X equals? So now that you know there was two missing, you know to write X, um, that X is two. So on the blank, write the two. In the next one, I won't tell you how to do it, but I'm just helping you out this one. So it's X plus two equals four. What was the missing part? Um, it was the two, good job, but you wrote it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Read me this math problem, please. Two plus two equals four. Four. Good job. All right, let's move to the next one. So now we have X. Read it to me. X plus three equals six. All right, so what do we need to do first? Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Why do I have to videotape you, silly? Are you going to pull out blocks or do you think you know it off the top of your head? 
So she wants me to get her a three and a six. So here's a three. I always forget the colors. Purple. Okay. Yep, I got it. There you go. All right. So tell me what you need. Another three. Okay. There you go. Can I open my eyes? What is that? Oh. <laughs> okay, so she did find the answer, and this is, she said an excitement point, exclamation point. <laughs> so she put the answer and then put the exclamation point. That's really funny. All right, so write the answer here since you know it. There? Yeah, good job. I didn't have to help you. I was about to help you. Good job. Can you read that math problem to me? <laughs> three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six. Good job. So let's keep going. I like what you did there, but you're making the math problem longer than it needs to be because you're making it one plus three plus three. So instead of the three plus three, what can we make that? Hold on. I got it. Aha. So what is the answer there? Oh, exclamation point. I love your exclamation points, but it's not seven plus six. Let's look at this math problem. What's missing? So if you know there's a seven, you know there's a six and there's a one, what, what number is not showing there? Okay, so then wouldn't it be, if we have the one written down and the seven written down, would the next one be a six? So where would we write the six in the math problem? Good job, good job. So read me that math problem, please. Six plus one equals seven. Good job. All right, so maybe needed a potty break, so we are stopping. She has literally five minutes, 48 seconds left. This wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be for her. I thought she'd have a lot of problems with it, but about the first two problems were tricky, and then after that, she's starting to get it, though she's only on her fifth problem. But I can see that she's starting to get it. So, as you can see here, there we go. So she is solving for X, basically solving for the unknown, and she's doing really good. Now, here's the thing about Matthew C. Um, well, this is an old one. This is an old packet. She wanted to have it up here. But it does review of other things that she's learned. So not only is she going to work on specifically uh, solving for the unknown, as you can see here, there are airplanes, and that is because she's going to do a word math problem. So I'll read to her the word math problem and she'll figure out the answer. She'll also do review on things like adding the 100, skip counting, all these different things that we have already covered. It also always includes uh, like an activity sheet for fun. So in this one, it was skip counting by tens for connect the dots, as you can see here. So it does fun stuff like that. It also works on understanding math problems in different ways. So obviously it will do it where it's more stacked on top of each other. And then there will be some math problems where, if I can find you one, and then it will also include, it will also include math problems as you can see up here where they are written out longer. So it does give her a variety of ways to understand. Now the primer is more about review and introducing your kids to a lot of math concepts than actual like mastering. Though I consider it mastering because it is quite tedious. It does take a long time. That's why we break it up into 20 minutes per day and it takes us two to three days to get a lesson done. As I can no. see, this one's, hi, she tried to scare me. As you can see, this one is probably going to be a three-day lesson, which is fine. All right, so she's back. Let's go ahead and get back into it. I want to show them the papers. Okay, you want to show them real quick? She wants to show you guys. Show them. What are we showing them? And this is ice cream and ice cream. Ice cream on it. Ice cream. And ice cream. You want me to pull them out for you? Mm -hmm. All right, tell me what you want. The one in the one in the four. And what do you need to finish that math problem? Um, I'm going to pull close the eyes. Alright, you ready? No. You can have your eyes open, but just look away. Okay, look. Good job. So how do we write that? Alright, so it says Nick wants three toy airplanes. He has two. Good. So Nick wants three toy airplanes. He has two. How many more airplanes does Nick want? Is that your answer? Good job. You did it. All right. Now you just have to write on the paper. 
the answer. Yeah, so as you can see here, she wrote it. One plus the two planes equals the three. Okay, so somehow, I don't know how, I didn't print the connect the dots page. So I think we're gonna stop there. She had a minute to spare, so that's pretty good. So she's definitely getting the concept down and it's starting to get things tinkering and moving. You see it just went off. But uh, basically this gets things tinkering and moving in her head. And if you notice, she tried to do the problem backwards, which was a great way to introduce how subtraction works. Uh, she does subtraction nat naturally on her own when she's playing with blocks and not being directed on anything but she hasn't learned like technically in a school setting the terms for it or exactly how it works so she doesn't understand in that way but she naturally does do subtraction on her own and so obviously here soon her brain is very much ready to start doing subtraction but we're just going in the order of the primer book so we'll get to it when we do it would be so funny she said right here she's trying to figure out how old Olaf is so that's what's going on here how old did you come up with two Olaf's two mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope it was enjoyable or it helped you if you're kind of looking into Matthew C. Like I said, we are, this baby waving a pencil, we are on the primer level, so that's the very beginning. <laughs> We're on the primer level, so that's the very beginning. So yeah, that's kind of how it works, that's how it goes, and you could do it. You could try to do it all day if you wanted, but I recommend not trying to get through an entire lesson per day because it really is very tedious if you do that. We started off doing that and then I was like, nope, 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 that's not working. Her brain is fatigued. So we do 20 minutes a day and it works perfectly. Little Miss here is still playing in the blocks. You having a good time? Yeah. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching today. And like I said, I hope you found it useful, helpful, entertaining, whatever it may be. Make sure you hit the thumbs up to let me know this is a video you would like to see in the future. And the subscription button is there for all my other homeschooling content for you guys. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun homeschooling, bye.